on your easel should be a board. You're going to be using that board as a surface so that you can draw on there without the pencil marks poking through. So you do have to take your big sheet of paper and using those clips, they're called a bulldog clip, ironically, you're going to clip your paper to the top of the board. So I'm using just two clips there just to keep it from moving around or shifting while I'm drawing. Now you do want to raise up your drawing board. Ideally, you should be drawing close to eye level. So I'm going to show you next how to adjust it. If you're looking at the middle bar of your easel, on the back there's a wing nut. So this is for those who are working with a wooden easel. You're just going to loosen that up and raise the bar higher. Usually it's all the way up to as far as it'll go. So I'm going to show you from the front view. I was showing you the back before. So again, you're just going to take that middle bar there's the whole easel, that middle bar, you're going to lift it up and then you're going to tighten that wing nut back down. You have to make sure that it's tightened all the way, so that's the top, that's as far as it'll go up. Make sure it's tightened pretty tight because the last thing you want to do is to put kind of a heavy drawing board on top and if it's loose it'll just slam down like that. So be prepared. I always support the uh, tray, the easel tray with my hand when I'm doing that so it doesn't slam down. Now my board is raised to eye level or head level or close to that and that makes it easier to draw and it makes it so that you're in the correct position 